All right, punks, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add additional web pages to your project. So, right now, our website looking pretty bland. This, of course, is just the home page, it's the only page that we have. It says Bucky, tuna, 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 my five favorite foods. However, people are coming to this site and you're like, you know what, this is pretty cool, but I want to learn more about Bucky. I wish there was an about page maybe a uh, like his profile page whatever so let's go ahead and do that right now now before we start adding a whole bunch of pages we already know that we're gonna need some kind of navigation system so users can actually click links and go back and forth between pages every website has it so you're like alright I'll just write the links right in every single EJS file boom it'll be good to go well here's the problem with that what if we want to add a new link to the navigation menu at the top. Well, that means that we're going to have to go in every single web page and add a new link manually. So I'll show you guys how to take care of that problem too, where you only have to worry about it in one location. So these are the files that we're going to be adding. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click views and add a new directory. And I'm just going to call this templates. Now inside this new directory, what we're going to do is we're going to add one new file and this is going to be for the navigation at the top it's called header.ejs you can name it navigation.ejs but since it's going to be at the top I think this is a little more clear and alright so before we start typing all of our navigation code in here I just want to add the other files while we're at it so the one other file that we're going to be adding in the views is we'll just say we'll add um like an about page so we'll say about ejs so essentially our web page is going to have two pages our home page and an about page once you learn how to add one additional page you guys are going to learn how to add you know however many you want so no use doing it repeatedly now again anytime we add a new view we also need to add a new route the brains behind this so new file and it's the name of your view or page dot js so here is what's going on how can I organize this alright let me do this so we have app.js the index view or excuse me the index route the about route the index template and the about template and of course the header.ejs is going to be our navigation that's going to go at the top of every single web page so I'll just put some basic links in here a href and let me just copy this a couple times and I'm gonna separate my links with a pipe symbol and this is the little symbol above the enter on your keyboard so let me actually add three links all right so the first one, whenever they click it, it's going to go to the home page. The second one is going to go to the about page. And the third one, I'll just pull link three because we won't make a page. We'll just make it a dead link. But uh, I don't know. If we ever want to add a page, that's where it would go. Now, the path to the home page, as we already know, is just that forward slash. And the path to this about page is about. And remember, you don't need to add the file extension because it already knows whenever we set up our project exactly what to do taking care of for you so now we have a pretty sweet navigation system the first thing we need to do is I say the first thing but it's like four minutes into the tutorial clearly not the first thing we're doing the 18th thing we need to do is we need to <laughs> include it in our index page on our home page so anytime we want to include a little bit of JavaScript already learned how to do that just write include and remember the location of this our navigation is in templates header ejs so include templates slash header dot ejs so actually I can go ahead and run this right now and you guys can see what's going on so again this is our navigation in if I inspect this you guys can already see it took the code from header.ejs and it included it right 
where we wanted to. Pretty awesome. All right, so now back to our project. What we can do now is actually just take this entire thing and stick it in about.ejs and clean this up a little bit. All right. So in about.ejs, the about page, I don't want the same stuff as my home page because that'll look weird. I'll just say like um just say heading three will be good. So I'll give it a heading of about and what is something neat about me. So I'll say hi, my name is Bucky. Um let's see. Uh I thought cheese from pizza was a uh, vein and I was scared. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, then you guys are missing out because you missed a good story in one of the last tutorials. All right. So now we have a view for about an index looking sweet. Actually, let me change this title to about as well. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to set it up first in app.js. So essentially what we're going to do in app.js is let our program know, hey, we made a new page, so whenever the user requests that page, this is how you handle it. It only takes two lines of code, pretty simple. And if you copy this, so this is for whenever you require the home page. We can just change this to about. And of course, we need to change the variable to about. So now the about variable is equal to this file right here. Simple. And if you go down here, Add one other line of code about about. All right. So what we're saying here is whenever the user makes a request for the about page, use this right here. And this is just, as you can see, this file right here, which is empty, but we can change that right now. And this is actually going to be really similar to index.js. So we can just paste that in there and what do we want to do here first of all right now what this is saying is change my comment right now what this is saying is whenever the user requests the about page then display the index view with this information and of course we don't want to display the index view which is this we want to display the about ejs file so i'm just going to change that to about and what information do we really want to pass in? We don't need the title. Actually, let's do that. We can set the title equal to about, and we'll keep the name equal to Bucky. So now, over in our view, what we can do is this. Instead of the title, we can use the variable title, and we can actually stick this in our heading as well. And for my name, instead of typing that, we can actually just use that variable. Simple enough. So let me go ahead and run that bad boy. Refresh and check it out. So the home page looks good. About awesome. It looks like our variables are being passed through right there. And right there, link three, of course, it doesn't do anything because we didn't make any page for it. But now we have a sweet navigation system looking awesome. And the cool thing about this as well is anytime we want to make any changes to the navigation system, we don't have to make any changes on every single page one by one by one all we have to do is change it right here and it automatically updates on every other page pretty awesome so there you guys go that is how you add additional pages again remember just to add a new view a new route and make sure everything is set up correctly in app.js again just two lines of code and uh, yeah, simple as that. You're good to go. So thanks for watching. And uh, well, that's it. And the tutorial. What are you still doing here? Just go to the next one. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys later.